Ever wonder what makes your eyes the color that they are? Or why your eyes are brown while your sisters are blue? Aside from the role that your DNA plays in determining your eye color, there is a bit of biology and physics involved. My name is 2020. I'll be your guide as we take a deeper look into this. Have you ever heard of things called pigments? Pigments are the substances that give nature all of its colors. It's why some flowers are yellow and others are purple, and also why some eyes are brown while others are blue. The major pigment in the eye is known as melanin. You might have heard of it before because it's the same pigment found in your skin and your hair. Naturally, melanin is a dark brown or black color. So if that's the case, how can this one pigment be responsible for so many different eye colors? How does a brown pigment produce blue? It has to do with how much melanin is produced and where it's found in the eye. When we talk about eye color, we are referring to the colored ring around your pupil. This is also known as the iris. The iris is made up of two layers, a front layer and a back layer. Between the two layers is what is called the stroma. The stroma is a clear tissue with many proteins floating around in it. One of these proteins is known as collagen, which we will talk more about later. All eyes have a lot of melanin on the back layer of the iris. That means that most differences in eye color are a result of the amount of melanin found in the front layer. For example, both blue and brown eyes have lots of melanin in the back layer. However, brown eyes also have a large amount of melanin in the front layer that absorbs the light hitting the iris, which makes them appear dark. In contrast, blue eyes have little to no melanin in this front layer, allowing light to pass through and then get reflected back through the stroma. As I mentioned earlier, the stroma is filled with collagen proteins. The collagen gets in the way of the light on its path back to the front of the eye, scattering the light. When this light is scattered, it reflects at shorter wavelengths along the blue end of the light color spectrum, making the eye appear blue. This phenomenon is something known as the Tyndall effect. To make it a bit easier to understand, think about the sky. In space, the sky is dark, but when we look at it from Earth during the day, it looks blue, not black. This is because light from the sun hits particles in the atmosphere and gets reflected, making it look blue. But what about green and hazel eyes? Well, the amount of melanin that they have in the front layer of their iris is greater than in blue eyes, but less than in brown eyes. Thus, the amount and way in which they scatter light results in the appearance of different colors. So. Did you learn anything new today? Next time you look at someone's eyes, maybe you'll think about a little bit more than just how pretty they are. For more videos like this, check out the Demystifying Medicine YouTube channel at the link in the description box below.